Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Nautilus. My name is Joe, and this is the first time I've been in front of a camera in a very long time. I am... I'm back with... That guy right there. The, uh... My blue... Uh, microphone. It is beautiful. I love it. Sorry if my room looks like a complete mess. Not sorry. Anyway. We are here for what I can only describe as a question and answer. I have 16 questions. Um, all from anonymous random people. I will not be I will not be divulging <coughs> their names. And they're in random order. Just kind of, you know, mix it up a little bit. Um, if this is a successful video, I will be doing that. Oh, by the way, have you noticed my official merch? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If you go into the link in the description, you can get this beautiful shirt, the Crescent Nautilus design, at teespring.com slash stores slash the dash Nautilus. It, it, it's automatically in the description. It's amazing beautiful and it feels comfy this is so nice i feel good right now so and by the way if if you use nautilus 35 that's nautilus with the number 35 you get 35 percent off all merch on my site that includes this beautiful guy right here Shirts, hoodies, tote bags, um, stickers, and a mug. Plus all the other designs on my site. I have some iPhone and Samsung cases. I have more shirts and hoodies. I got a bunch of stuff. I'm probably going to be making more logos in the future. I'm expanding my store as much as humanly possible. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands right now. Okay, so that was the merch plug. Let's see. I designed the logo myself, by the way. Just letting you know, this is my official logo. I made this. I drew it in Sketchbook Pro 6. Turned it into my official logo. The Nautilus, a beautiful creature. Anyway. <coughs> Allergies. Shut up. Um, Alright. Let's begin the video. What is your favorite basketball shot to take? Now, I have a couple. I have a couple. Um, uh, from the three-point line, I like the top center you know like the center of the three-point line right there always a good one um i like if you if you are looking at the hoop this way and you're at the top if you go to the right right there on that corner i don't know what the hell that was uh but yeah that shot is awesome i love doing layups layups are a type of shot as well it counts uh, my favorite layup to do is the underhand Kind of serve it up to the hoop, you know, that type of thing. As I'm running from the right corner up, my mouth my favorite. I do a little through the legs too, a little cross people up, you know. Real basketball player, man. Catch me in the NBA. Never. I'll be 32 this year, and I'm not in any shape to do that. Um, next question: If you were trapped in a foxhole in the middle of a war, who's the one person you'd want with you to help make sure you get out? Now, I had to do a lot of thinking about this. Actually, I did no thinking, so I'm going to randomly throw it out. Wolverine. Didn't say if it had to be a real person. It could be... <coughs> could be fictional. Um, so, yeah, Wolverine. He's got the claws. He's got the longevity. He's got the ability to survive literally anything you put him through. I mean, he survived Jean Grey, and boy, was that a nasty relationship. Um, yeah, he's got healing powers. He can block things for me. He can kill people for me. Not that I would ever... I'm never gonna... Anyway. Wolverine would be my answer. He's strong. He's got it. Claws, everything. Bad attitude, you know. As long as he doesn't turn on me, Wolverine would be my choice. What is your favorite late night snack? Hershey's Drops uh, or Buncher Crunch. Either one of the two. Her Hershey's Drops or Buncher Crunch. Uh, I do like the um, <coughs> cheese doodles, crunchy, not puffed. And what's the last thing? It was uh, from Pop Secret. They actually make a natural popcorn where it's like lightly salted and buttered. 
It's the best popcorn on the planet. So good. Doesn't taste absolutely crappy. Um, yeah, it's really good. Or natural or homemade. I forgot what it was. I think it was natural. I think that was what it was. Um, what is your favorite childhood movie? <sighs> Would have to go with the Mighty Ducks franchise. Yeah. I mean, Space Jam, all those kids' movies and stuff like that. Um, childhood movie, probably going to be the Mighty Ducks franchise. So, Mighty, the Mighty Ducks would be my favorite childhood movie. And any all those like sports movies in general, like The Big Green, Little Giants, and stuff like that, like, you know, really takes the cake for me. But I'm going to go with The Mighty Ducks. Thank you very much, Mr. Ducksworth. It was no problem, Mr. Duxworth. Quack, 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 Mr. Duxworth. Um, okay, this is a good question because I am an artist, so I have to I have to answer this uh, legitimately. What are you? What are your three favorite pieces of art from other artists, past or present? And was there a specific piece that inspired you to start the path yourself? So, um, I have stated multiple times that. My four favorite artists are Salvador Dali, H.R. Geiger, M.C. Escher, and Bob Ross. Those are my four top favorites. Um, I mean, anything from Bob Ross is good. I wouldn't even be able to begin, you know, naming one of his pieces. I've been watching the videos, too, so that's kind of sad for me. Uh, Salvador Dali would have to be the melting clock. Um, from H.R. H.R. Geiger would have to be, there's a painting he did where pretty much like <coughs> initiated sorry, hold on uh, initiated the alien design, don't know what it's called um, but yeah, it's one of one of his surrealistic like creepy alien designs he's done a lot of interesting things and then let's see, MC Escher um, I would have to say the piece of him it's a, it's a tie between the piece of him holding the globe as he's staring at it and the two hands uh, drawing each other. So awesome. So sick. Um, Alright, now we get into YouTube here. Um, oh yeah, and was there a specific piece that inspired you to start a path yourself? Um, well, I grew up watching Bob Ross, like his videos and stuff like that on... Uh, I think it was, it was either PBS 13 or WLIW21. Um, so any of his pieces really is what got me into it, but, um, yeah, I, think that, I mean, that's probably what it was. Um, I think it was a, a Bob Ross art piece that got me really into it. That was the first thing that I ever really watched on TV, aside from like one Saturday morning. Um, why did you start doing YouTube? Um, I started doing YouTube and I'm going to base it based on this channel <coughs> the Nautilus alone um, I started doing this channel and this um, this YouTube channel because as an artist I feel like I am a creative person and I wanted to get my art out there I wanted people to see what I was all about and um, show them that I am a legitimate you know person and that I have these talents and abilities that do stand me out somewhat from the crowd and uh, yeah, I wanted to get my art out there for the world and show people what I was all about. Uh, what is my goal with the channel? Uh, the same person asked two questions. Uh, my goal with the channel is to grow the brand around it and just get people talking. I, I mean, subscriber milestones probably won't happen. I'm just going to be pretty brutally honest. Um... But if I can get people at least talking, you know, about the shirts and what my logo is all about and what, why I even created this in the first place. I'm surprised no one asked me that question. Um, but if I can get people talking about my art, the logo, the brand, and just the channel in general, that is that would be the best goal ever. Because then at least that will push me to the next goal, which is to get more subscribers and yada, yada, yada. Um, here we're getting to the real question. What is your favorite movie of all time? Uh, don't mind the light flickering. It's okay. Um, <coughs> favorite movie of all time. That is a tough one to answer. 
Uh, and, and I, this one I actually did think about because I was like, what is my favorite movie of all time? I don't know. Um, I got so many <coughs> choices, so many options that I could choose. Um, I have said many times that one of my all-time favorite movies is Jurassic Park. I love dinosaurs. Twister is definitely up there, top tier. Um, 2005 War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. I know, a lot of people don't like him. I think the, the movie is fantastic though. The Prince of Egypt, The Iron Giant, Titan A.E. Lord, I mean, I love so many movies. But favorite movie of all time, that is just so tough. The Shining is up there. I'm going to stick with... I'll stick with Jurassic Park as a safe as a safe bet, you know? Um, tough question. Is this how you expected your life to become? Is it better or worse than you expected? Um, I, I, I'm pretty um, happy with the way my life has gone. Um, I, I expected, I probably expected to be a little bit more famous as an artist, but I didn't do the right things to get myself famous, so I guess this is how I expected life would become for me because of the choices I made. Um, it is better than I thought, though. I do, I have a loving family, I have, uh, a roof over my head, you know, I'm, I'm in a good, I'm in a good spot, I have a full-time job, you know, um, yeah, no, it's, it's much better than I thought, you know, much, much better, um, what is your favorite medium to create art with, digital, I mean, I like working with pastels and charcoals, I learned to love them through, uh, college, through going to art school and stuff like that, getting my associates in graphic design, graphic art, um, but digital is the one that I have the most fun with. Because I have, I mean, the mouse becomes like it's, it becomes its own pen or pencil or charcoal or pastel, you know. I'm able to do things with the mouse that, um, that I just learned from drawing on the website and stuff like that. And through Sketchbook Pro 6, um, you know, I just, I don't know, that's how, that's how I feel about it. Um, digital art all the way. Here we go. What is the best concert show you've ever been to? How about the worst? Um, all right. So the best concert show I've ever gone to, um, it's a three-way tie. I'm going to give a three-way tie. Um, and that has to be, the first one was Mayhem Fest. The first concert I ever officially went to as an adult in college. It was a big metal concert, a bunch of bands. It was so much fun. First first time I ever heard of the band Mastodon, my all-time favorite metal band. Um, tied with 311, Great South Bay Music Festival, and the Foo Fighters at Jones Beach. All of them were awesome. The Foo Fighters was the most, um, most personal experience, though, because I was with my dad, and my all-time favorite band, aside from 311 and Mastodon and all those others, is the Foo Fighters. Like, they are... Any band that I say is my all-time favorite band, Foo Fighters is top tier with them 100%. So, um, how about the worst? I've never really seen a bad concert, you know? I mean, I guess you could count the acts in Mayhem Fest that weren't, like, the top four guys, which was Mastodon, Dragon Force, Disturbed, and Slipknot. I mean, that might have been the worst part of it, because I was mostly just walking around and putting, throwing myself into mosh pits. Um... So that, I guess, part of Mayhem Fest could have been considered the worst. Um, we used to see Raffi, folk singer. He used to do kid songs. Uh, he was uh, he was really good. And then, um, not Mitch Hedberg, um, Arlo Guthrie was another good concert. He's the one who does Alice's Restaurant. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. Do -do 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 -do. That's the song they play on Thanksgiving, um, which I am looking forward to. Because it's Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, no really bad concerts. I've never been to one. That's what, so far. Um, this was a tough one. <coughs> if you could go back in time and pick one famous person to meet, musician, actor, politician, who would be your top choice? <sighs> I 
Since they worked as a duo, I'm going to cheat a little bit and say Bud Abbott and Luke Costello. Since they were a tag team, I would have loved to have talked to them during their heyday in the 1930s and 40s. For those of you who don't know, Bud Abbott and Luke Costello were a comedy duo, and they were they were friends, and they were a comedy duo. Um, Bud Abbott was the straight man, you know, no nonsense, never laughed really, you know, was always trying to make sure Lou wasn't getting himself in trouble. Luke Costello was a slapstick, you know, just just he would fall, he would be a doof, basically, a dummy. Um, one of the best physical comedians of all time. In fact, Bud Abbott was told, was it was said about him by the Marx Brothers, by Groucho Marx, that he was the greatest straight man in comedy history. How do you, how do you do that? When one of the greatest comedians of all time tells you you're one of the greatest comedians of all time, I mean, that's got to be some sort of an honor right there, right? Holy crap. But yeah, I would say if if, if, I, if we're going to do a tag team, <laughs> Bud Abbott and Lucas Dahl. If I was allowed to cheat even more and say a group, I would probably say the Marx Brothers. But aside from that, yeah. Uh, when did you first start drawing? You ready for this? So, um, I was going to college, Suffolk County Community College, and I started drawing. And, uh, you know, before that I was like doodling in my notebook in school and stuff like that. Never really did anything funny except for like I used to do what they call the cool S or the Superman S the six, li six lines that you connect into 14 lines and then you make it 3D and everything um, I used to do the Bulls logo I used to do the New Jersey Devils logo the Slipknot logo I would attempt it I used to just draw all over my notebook because I was I was not interested in school um, flash forward to 2011 I'm at the tail end. I, I just graduated, so I'm just kind of chilling. This is summer. June 13th, 2011. Uh, my mom calls me downstairs, and I'm thinking it's one of three things, you know. I have to do chores, I'm in trouble, or I have to, you know, I have to apply for a job because I was still working at Dunkin' Donuts, but it wasn't a good enough job. Um, I run downstairs. She comes to the, I'm, I'm on like the third step, I landed on the third step, and she comes over with a piece of paper from Newsday, um, and she's like, hey, I found this, uh, I, I immediately think, okay, it's a job, but she's like, hey, I found this, uh, this website for art, uh, you should check it out, enjoy it, see if it's something you might, that might interest you. That's right, folks. I joined RateMyDrawings.com because of my mom, and I immediately joined made the whole account Nirvana Spirit 666 and uh, I became well known on there. I, I've, to this day I have 1,235 art pieces on there from 2011 to now. So, yeah. Actually, this year will be nine years. June 13th of this year will be nine years. But that's when I first started really drawing and getting into artwork and trying to make myself a professional artist. Which I do consider myself. I do consider myself a professional artist. I just... I'm an unpaid professional artist. Um, but we'll get we'll get to that in a little bit. Alright, some serious questions and then a goofy one at the end. In what specific ways do you make an effort to improve as an artist in general? So as an artist, you know, um, one of the things I try to do is realism. It's a way for me to improve uh, my, my skills as an artist. Because I mostly do, as you guys know, I mostly do abstract and surrealism. Landscape art, which is, I guess, a, a way of improving. Um, and in general, you know, I just try to sleep more, eat less, work more, not be an idiot. You know, the general ways and ways in... You know that people can improve themselves. Uh, pretty easy. Has your internet art business proven worth the effort, and do you combine it with other means of sales? Internet art business is a very broad question, <laughs> broad statement. I don't have an internet art business because I'm not being paid for these videos I put out, and I'm not being paid for my artwork. The only thing I've ever gotten really paid for is my merch. Um, so do I combine it with other means of sales? So I'm guessing my, my merch. Uh, not re I mean, I 
designed the logo, so I guess you could say yes, I have. Um, but not really, you know. I've I've tried making prints of my, you know, artwork and trying to sell those, but I never I never amassed anything, you know. N nothing ever really came of it, you know. Um, so yeah, but I am trying. I just did an Instagram. Uh, what I do? I, I did an Instagram uh, ad, a promotion. I promoted one of my videos, and then uh, you know we'll see if that nothing yet. We'll see if that uh, comes to any comes to any light, and uh, hopefully it'll get me some sales on uh, Teespring. You guys could help though. Uh, and then the final question, which I don't know why I put this last: What goes best with butter, in your opinion? And I really didn't think about it. But, um, I would have to say a really, really good soft yet toasted egg bagel. I'm from, I'm from New York, man. That's what we do. We just do egg bagels, man. They're the best. Egg everything, egg onion. Nice and toasted. Some butter on it. Oh, it's the best. English muffins, too. Widely underrated sandwich, uh, sandwich bread. English muffins. So good. Because they got the pockets. A little butter. Butter goes in there. Um... But yeah, so that was it. That was 16 questions. <coughs> didn't think I was going to make it to 15. Definitely didn't think I was going to make it to 20 questions. I had to really move around and ask a bunch of people on different uh, platforms and everything. But this is done. I've done a Q&A. &A. I hope my answers were somewhat enjoyable. I hope this video was somewhat enjoyable. Um, back to the regular scheduled um, artwork. Should be coming pretty soon. Uh, I think I'm going to work on something tomorrow. Uh, yes, I will work on something tomorrow. That is a that is a thing that I just said. This is going nowhere. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate any and all views and any and all subscribers. If you guys like what I do, please consider subscribing. Uh, I do appreciate everything. And uh, once again... If you want merch like this, this is an official branded hoodie. My brand, my logo, my everything. If you want one of these or any of the other official branded merch on my store, go into the description, teespring.com slash stores slash the dash Nautilus. That is, my, that is my official store on Teespring. Go check it out. I have a bunch of stuff there. You can customize the colors, the sizes, everything. I try to make it so you can get from the smallest to the small to the biggest to the big, depending on how beautiful and lovely you are. So thank you guys so much for watching this. And uh, I really do appreciate everything. You guys are awesome. And I love you. <coughs> Thomas Sanders for president. And uh, with that... With that, uh huh, huh, come on. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am gonna say that this is finished. <laughs>